Good morning everybody and uh, welcome to another one of my most unusual videos. Uh, I find myself this morning not in school uh, but talking to you from home and uh, it's uh, it's been another very eventful six weeks shall we say. Uh, the first thing I would like to say is a huge huge well done and a, and a thank you to uh, all the teachers and all the staff at George Salter who have worked inordinately hard over this six weeks, indeed over the past 12 months with the pandemic, to make sure that we continue to offer the right kind of provision and care for you, the young people, in the right way. Uh, if we think about the journey that we've been on as staff, we've gone from teaching in classrooms to teaching in classrooms and setting work remotely setting all work remotely and in the very early days as you know that looked like class charts with worksheets attached and various online platforms and now uh, we're setting work through teams we're marking work we're giving quizzes we're giving feedback we're recording spoken feedback uh, and, and 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 passing that on to, to to you for your work it's it's absolutely incredible this this revolution because it is a revolution in how we're working uh is taking place and it takes a great deal of stamina and strength, courage and a spirit for innovation on the part of all our staff to make sure that we can carry on doing that. So the first thing I have to say is a huge well done to all staff in our school. The second message uh, at the end of this half term is to you, the students. Um, the school is quite an empty place at times uh, during the day. Yes, we have the permanent group with us and yes, they are growing in numbers and we do look forward to seeing them every day. And it's great to keep that contact with young people in that in that smaller circle, if you like. But we miss you. Uh, our our school is a school with a soul uh, and that soul comes from you. Uh, and in many ways, you are the best thing about our school. And uh, we are trying to do our very best. I know from looking at the uh, the data I've got about how you're engaging in lessons, that every day there is about four-fifths of you who are online in lessons. Uh, there is another 10% of you who are getting work sent home and, and, and completing work on paper copies. And then, of course, we have the, the permanent group with us. And you are embracing the challenges of what learning uh, means at this present time. And I really, really do uh, appreciate that. And I also think for, for some of you, particularly year 11 and year 13, this is this is really hard. This is difficult because you are working hard, trying to prepare for what the future may bring without us really having the clarity of what exams are going to be in the summer. The consultation has recently said that there will be mini assessments, but we still don't really know what they look like yet. Uh, and you're facing all those difficulties in an admirable fashion. What I do know is the resilience and the stamina that you are showing at this moment in time will stand you in good stead for the future. And that isn't wish, I don't wish to come across as patronising or put that in a trivial way. But if you can face these challenges, you really will be well prepared for that next phase in, in your lives. Um, and on that, a big thank you to all the tutors, all the progress leaders, to uh, the careers coordinators who were put in work in to make sure that you're aware of what those next steps look like. There have been videos about post-16 provision uh, on, on our YouTube channel. I know the options process is, is running remotely and there have been evenings, there have been videos to prepare you for that. Um, so we are endeavouring to offer the right kind of support. I really appreciate the form tutors and the progress leaders and the student welfare managers who are contacting you on a regular basis if we haven't heard from you. But I also need to know that, that you are well. And if you are struggling, there are ways in which you can let us know uh, online through the Sharp system or contacting the school directly. And we will be able to allocate support for you uh, because this has been difficult and is difficult for an awful lot of us. It's been difficult for me personally. Uh, some of you may well know that I actually contracted the virus in just over New Year uh, and uh, was, was really quite unwell for the first two weeks of the new year. Uh, so, so this is hard. This is difficult. But we will get strength from this and we will come together as a family and get through it. I also think about the, the year seven students who are engaging in remote learning with, in incredible numbers. And an awful lot of hard work has gone in there to make sure that that is the case. But you've had a year in a secondary school without really knowing it as well. Um, you haven't got to walk around our school, go to different classrooms, see, see the different teachers in their own environments. That will change. That will change. And as I look out my window now, I can see, without getting all poetic, I can see 
I can see the bulbs coming up. I can see spring coming. Uh, the vaccine will arrive and good times will be here. We, we, just, we just need to get through this uh, for, for, for another short period of time. And I, I think if I could, that's the message that I'd like to end on, which is a message of optimism that spring is coming and uh, things will get better and we will be, be able to reopen. And I guess my challenge to you will then be, what will that look like for you? What does it look like for our staff who are already planning for that reopening? Uh, what do you want to do when you come back? What would you like to be involved in when you come back? Um, because we, we need to make sure that when we come back, we, we, we reopen and we re reopen once again as, that, as I know George Salter to be, the positive, vibrant school with a soul. So thank you for all you've done this half term. Have a good break over the half term or over the holiday and let's re-engage with that remote learning next half term to the point where we can have you back. I don't know when that will be. I've heard rumours about the 8th of March. You hear rumours all the time. What you can be rest assured is that as soon as we know, I will let you know. Um, thank you for all you're doing. And to the parents and carers, thank you for your support. We don't take it for granted. We do need your feedback. And I hope you can see how we have tried to act on that in these six weeks. Um, so let's keep going. Let's pull through as one team and then let's uh, reunite as one big family when we reopen. Thank you very much.